Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. We now take the time to focus on the Lord's Supper. It's often a time of meditation and thinking and remembering who Jesus is and what he's done in our life. This week uh, was tax week. I had to write out a check to Uncle Sam. And I remember what Jesus once said, Give unto Caesars what is Caesar, give unto God what is God. And it's not about what that might mean. What does God want from me? What do I have of value to give to God? As I thought about that, I thought the most important thing, the most valuable thing I have that I can give to God is my heart. Give that to God. And as I thought about the Psalms, so many Psalms speak about that very fact of heart after God. And for today, I'd like to talk and read Psalm 23, for it speaks about a time of celebration, a time of remembering God and what he's done uh, in, in our lives. And what I often do with the word Lord in Psalms is I interject that uh, with Jesus. Jesus is my Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus is my shepherd. He's the good shepherd. He gives me life. And so it is with great pleasure and honor that I give my life to my Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, we take this moment to reflect upon who you are, Jesus, and what you've done for us in our lives. You are our God, and we are your people. And this day, as in every day, I offer you the most valuable gift I have, and that is my heart, that you may dwell in it, that you may shape me and mold me into your image. We thank you because you care for us, you lay down your life for us. For no other reason because you love us. And we thank you, Father, for the spirit that dwells within us. And ask you to forgive us of our sins and our unrighteousness. And we're happy and glad and thankful that you understand our weaknesses. And that you understand who we are. And you judge us by our heart. And we pray for the perfection of our heart. Thank you, Lord, for we love you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.